What's up everybody, King of Home here, coming at you with your daily crypto update. So this is going to be a quick start guide to the Phoenix Protocol. If you're watching this on Patreon, Phoenix Protocol launches in about 7 hours. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's launching in about 3 hours. So I'm just going to give you guys a really, really quick overview of how to use the system, just so you know what to do once it gets started. I also want to quickly talk about the bigger picture when it comes to Phoenix and Zen, just so you guys don't get sw swooped up in the moment and, uh, you know, swooped off your feet if you're doing the wrong thing and expecting the wrong thing. So I like the way that Phoenix Protocol is set up. The website is set up because they, pr they pretty much baby-proof it for you. They put everything in order. Uh, so you have your dashboard right here. You can click on this dashboard, and that's just going to give you the general information about uh, what's going on with your wallet. So if you're on the Polygon chain, it'll tell you, um, you know, what's going on with the equity supplies, the reward supplies. So this is where you're going to look at, uh, for the most part, after you get into the Phoenix Protocol. So how do you do this? How, it's the quick start guide. Everything else is after the dashboard and it's pretty much in order. So the first step is to get Zen. You need Zen in order to do this system. If you're going to mint it on your own way or if you're going to buy it on Uniswap, they give you a lot of options right here. So you can get Zen also right here on zen.fyi and follow the steps to purchase Zen. This is something that you should have already done or should already do before the project goes live at 10 o'clock PST later today. Uh, the second step is to approve Phoenix. So I'm not sure if you can do this right now. Let me see if I can click on this. Yeah, this contract isn't live yet. Uh, but this is going to be the first step of what you want to do. Um, you know, it might be easier just to approve unlimited burn so that you don't have to uh, keep pressing this button and, and keep paying fees. Uh, but if you want to approve a, a certain amount of Zen, maybe 100,000 Zen or whatever, you can click the number right here and approve it so that you... Uh, you know, a lot of people are concerned about smart contracts, you know, stealing all their money. So they, they have that option right there. All right. So the, the next step after you approve your Phoenix is to burn, uh, to burn your Zen. And I'm not sure why this says approve Phoenix, because what you're really doing is you're approving Zen. You're approving the amount of Zen that can be spent in the contract. But uh, nonetheless, it's neither here nor there. Uh, the next step is to burn Zen, right? So once you've approved the amount that you want to burn, let's say you approved 100,000 and you burn 100,000, it's going to tell you exactly how much Phoenix you're going to get from that. I think it's one to 10. 10,000 or one, one in 1,000 is the um, one, you get one Phoenix token for every 1,000 Zen, something like that. So uh, once you do that, let me see, actually see what the number is. One Phoenix token, yeah, for every 10,000 Zen. Uh, so once you do that um, and you burn that amount of Zen, you're going to get that amount of Phoenix tokens into your wallet. And I think the way that it's going to do it is it's going to stake half of that for you and it's going to give the other half in your wallet right away. Uh, so that is the first three steps. Once you are once you do that, um, you're pretty much done, uh, but you can go a little bit deeper into this. And I, I think most people are going to be going on and doing the next steps after this. So after you have burned and received your Phoenix tokens, your next step is to go over to here where it says start stake. So you can start a new Phoenix stake here. Now, again, I'm not entirely sure after you purchase your, your Phoenix tokens, I thought half of it automatically gets staked. Um, so you might just have to stake the other half if you want to do that, or you might have to stake the whole thing. Uh, just be aware that both those things could be the case. Uh, so again, stake the amount of Phoenix and you stake it for the amount of days. Obviously, the more days you stake it for, the um, higher the payout's going to be at the end of that time. Um, 777 days is quite a long time. I don't know how many years that is. It's a very long time, but 7,777 days, that's a very long time. Uh, but you can do it for a different amount of days if you feel like it. Uh, you can do it for a year or, or um, a year and a half or whatever the amount is that you're comfortable with to get your Phoenix back and to sell that Phoenix or to do something with it a little bit later. So you guys can come up with your own strategy as far as how much you want to stake it for. Then you have a bunch of other buttons here. Your active stakes will tell you kind of what's going on if you have stakes there. Deferred stakes, if you don't know what that vocabulary word deferred means, it just means to push your stake out even further. Um, so I don't know too much about that. I don't want to you know, tell you guys the wrong information about that, but I'm pretty sure that's what it's you're able to do if you're not able if you feel like you want to push your stake out instead of 10 days to 20 days uh, i think that this button will allow you to do that and the last button is to end your stakes please keep in mind ladies and gentlemen you need to end your stakes on time if you wait too long after your stake is ended you're going to start losing a lot from uh, waiting too long so make sure that you mark it in your calendar put it put an alert in your calendar to know when your stake ends if you're not checking it on a weekly or daily basis so that you can get the maximum return once your stake does end and then um, you have your reward over here as well I think this is just going to tell you kind of more about what your what stakes gonna happen and you can claim that reward as soon as your cooldown elapses so that's how the Phoenix protocol works in the short version how to get started it's really really self-explanatory and easy um, now the last thing that I'll leave you guys with is this uh, make sure you 
temper your expectations for Phoenix, for DB Zen, for everything. In my opinion, I think that Zen is still a very, very long-term play. Despite the fact that it's been doing extremely well over the past couple weeks or month or so, I think that in the pa in the next year, year and a half, as the, these protocols and these, these new kind of contracts burn more and more and more and more and more Zen, and as less and less and less and less and less Zen gets minted, uh, I think that that is when we're going to see true price discovery for this coin. Until then, don't get swept off your feet. Even if we have huge pumps from these protocols, Protocols launching, uh, you know, I, I still don't think the price is, is locked and loaded, locked in place, um, or guaranteed to pump up or guaranteed to dump or anything like that. It's still going to be very volatile, I think, for the next year. So it's a long term play for Zen. And Phoenix is an interesting one, too, because Phoenix is also by design also a long term play. Uh, Phoenix has a lot more to prove in terms of what it can do in the long run. Uh, but nonetheless, if you're staking it for 365 days or, or longer, uh, that could pay off really, really good. Good. If you're staking it for like two or three days, um, you know, it'll, it'll still pay off uh, probably an okay amount. But, um, you know, just like with Hex, the biggest winners are the people that waited a long time. All right, guys, that is everything for today. I'll catch you in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe. If you're not a Patreon member, consider becoming a Patreon. You get access to all of my videos earlier than everyone else here on YouTube. I will be restarting up my communities again. I, I did this before and then I uh, stopped stopped with them a little bit. But I'm going to restart be restarting up my communities again once I am done working for the summer. My teaching job is over. So uh, look forward to that in about like a month and a half-ish. Uh, all right, that's everything for today, guys. Catch you in the next video. Peace out.